Hey everybody, Brian here from the theguitarfactoryoc.com and today we're gonna go over one of my favorite riffs of all time, ACDC's Back in Black. Let's break it down. In this classic riff, we're gonna have four distinct sections we're gonna look at today. The intro, which is also played during the verse. We're gonna look at the chorus, what's played underneath the guitar solo. The guitar solo will be a separate video I'll make all alone. And then the ending interlude. Once we got that, you'll know how to play the entire song of ACDC's Back in Black. Let's get into it. All right, in the main riff of the song, there's gonna be a foundation of three basic chords strummed with a little lead lick at the end of each. So the first phrase is this. So what we're gonna do is do an E major chord first. That's second fret A, second fret D, first fret G, and hit it one strum. Block it with your hand after it so that doesn't ring at all. Then the D chord, second fret G, third fret B, second fret high E, we're gonna strum that down, up, down, so three strums, and block it after that as well. The A chord comes last, that's second fret D, second fret G, second fret B. Same strumming, down, up, down. And those are our three chord foundation of the bulk of that song. Okay, now that lead lick at the end is gonna be the high E third fret, then the open E, then the third fret B string, open B, second fret G string, with a little vibrato pulling off, flicking off to that open G string. So you have 3-0, on the high E, 3 0 on the B, 2 0 on the G. You can hear that little vibrato, and if you really listen to the recording of the song, he really emphasizes that vibrato before pulling off that 2 0 on the G. Here's your first phrase E, D, A, 3 0, 3 0, 2 0. In speed, a little more. Okay, now after repeating those three chords again, we're gonna do another lead lick, a more bassy lead lick. And what he's gonna do is gonna hit the A string second fret, then the low E fourth fret, back to the second fret A, then the fifth fret of the low E, back to that two again on the A, then the sixth, and then the, the second fret again on the A, and then seven. So as you see the order here, it's two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven. And that's the second ending of that lick. So when you put both of them together, you got this. And that's what happens in the intro of the song and the entire verse. All right, the chorus of Back in Black. Here's the sound of it a little bit before we break it down. Okay, so there's a series of chords there. So the first thing we're gonna do is the A power chord, open A, second fret D, second fret G. Then we're gonna do the E power chord. Just take that same shape and bring it down to the low E, covering the now the second fret of the A and D. So you have A to E, and the B power chord. That's that two, four, four, two on the A, four on the D, four on the G. And then return back to A, and get back to that B. So that's our first part that we repeat twice. A, B, B, A, B. Repeat it, A, B, B, A, B. Second part, G. D, A, and instead of doing the G again, we're doing the G note on the low E, with a little quarter bend, and then back to that A. Okay, that second part's really cool. It's G, D, A, bend that, back to A. G, D, A, bend that three, back to A. Then repeat the first section. A, B, B, A, B, A, B, B, A. And then we're going to do the G chord four times. And three Ds. And that's our chorus. All 
All right, underneath the solo part, which I'll make the solo a separate instructional video, but if you haven't got up to speed and be able to play a full solo and you still want to play along with the song because you could play all the other parts, um, this is the rhythm that goes underneath Angus's guitar solo. So his brother Malcolm is playing this really cool guitar part. I'll play it first and I'll break it down for you. So it has this almost um, similarity to the intro with the strumming with a little bit of a tail on there. So the first chord is an open E with just the A string second fret, so just two strings. And then the open E again, but the now that fifth string, the A string is on the fifth fret of that uh, hammer held down. So open E and the fifth fret of the A. Same thing now goes to the open E again and fourth fret of the A. So you have then down and down for that 05, for that 04, and then back to the 02 with a down and down, up down, up down. And that's happening under the whole solo. Down and down, down and down, down and down, up down, up down, down. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying my instructional videos, please go ahead and click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, click on your alerts so you can get notified of when I drop any new videos. All right, at the end of the song, there is a interlude that comes in and I'll play it for you and then break it down. So here's that part. A lot of pinky work there. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is hit the open E all alone, and then on the A string, we're gonna play five, four, two, four. But the first five, four, we wanna try to pull off. From that pinky to ring. A little tricky, but it's a great finger exercise. So five, four, two, four, pulling off the five, four, you pick the rest. Okay, now we're gonna go to the low E three. And then this next part, after that three, is going to feel like the beginning of the song we had that one riff where it's two, five, two, six, two, seven. Two's on the A, and that five, six, seven's on that low E. So that's the riff. Oh, five, four, two, four, three. Here we go, two on the A, five on the E, back to that two, six on the E, and then seven. Okay, what is he gonna do as they crank that out, just like a typical blues jam would do, they're gonna bring that same riff down a set of strings, so it's gonna sound a little bit higher. Okay, so it's the same riff, just starting on the A string, and then the five, four, two, four is on the D, just take the same exact riff, but dropping it down like that. And once you complete that riff, you're gonna go back to that chorus and take it on out. All right, so those are the four sections of Back in Black. Your main intro, your chorus, the solo rhythm guitar part, and then that ending interlude. Hope that was helpful, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're looking for a complete online guitar course, head over to theguitarfactoryoc.com. I've created a full online guitar course that will take you through all the necessary fundamentals you need to know to become a well-rounded guitar player, also learning songs that you love all along the way. Click the link in the description below and get our free quick start course.